puppy lovers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to teach your dog how to play fetch and actually bring the toy back. <laughs> fetch is not the easiest game in the world to play with your dog because bringing it back is the part that is hard. Most dogs will go after something, but bringing it back, now that's a little harder. Delilah does not bring toys back, ever. I mean, she'll bring them to you, but then she won't give them to you because she knows give when we ask for something else, but not when we ask for a toy. So we are trying to work on that, and I think she's getting a little bit better, but we're still working. Junie will bring it straight back and drop it. Um, Bria will bring it back, and sometimes she'll stay a little far away, like a couple feet, and you have to like reach for it. But other than that, she's pretty good. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell. So you get notified every time I upload a new dog vlog, name ideas, training advice, or anything else that I upload that's random um, about dogs. Oh, it's always about dogs, don't worry. But anyways, let's jump into it. I am so sorry if you hear thumping in the background. Bria is chewing on her bone and Delilah and Junie are asleep. So, oh, now she's gonna chew on the grandma chicken, of course. So how to teach fetch, I have a couple different methods and then I'm gonna go into those methods in detail. So the, first so the first method is basically teach come and give first. Now, um, I will make a video in the near future about how to, um, like basic training commands and how we taught her and um, how she's good at it now. She's not mastered all of them because we don't teach her all of them day one. So she's still in the learning curve so that will be coming pretty soon. She just has to master all of the tricks first and then it'll be here, so. Anyways, for come, you can take a long leash. Uh, make sure that they know their name first, so like, Bria! Bria does not know her name yet. I don't know how, but she still doesn't. So, but Junie and Delilah looked at me and then I would click or if you don't use a clicker, that's fine, and throw a treat at them. Um, if they don't look at me, it's fine, I'll just try again. Then I teach them stay, which basically I sit, I tell them to sit. First they'll, they'll sit for like a second, then they'll sit for like five seconds, then 10, then a minute, then, um, you know, it, it just, you can teach stay like that, and then you can teach come by telling them to stay and then calling them and saying the command and then rewarding. Um, and then give, basically, you um, have give them something and then say give, and then you take either a treat or their favorite toy and swap it out. So they gave you that, now they get this. So that just trains their mind that, hey, giving is a good thing, I get something back. So once you master those, then you can start teaching fetch. So the first thing that you can do is take a, le a long leash. Um, you can use a 30 foot recall leash. You can just use like a 10 foot leash. Um, any type of leash is okay. Um, I think longer is better because they get to play further and run to get the ball further. But basically you have them, you throw the ball. They will most likely chase after it. If you can't get your dog to chase after it, that is just a different problem that I've never had before, so I don't know how to solve that right now, but I will look into it if, if anybody needs it, so comment down below if you do need um, to get your dog to go after the ball or toy. Um, anyways, throw the ball and then you say come and they will most likely bring the ball. If they've mastered the trick, then they'll bring the ball and then you can say give and they'll give the ball. So that is a really great way to teach your dog. So sometimes dogs don't wanna come back at all. And then what you can do is you can run towards them, get them really excited and then be like, wahoo, and run back. Um, and then don't take the toy away immediately because sometimes then that'll make them not want to. So once they like drop the toy or after they've like been able to chew on it for a couple minutes, then you can take it away. It's just, they don't wanna lose their toy every time they bring it back to you because that's a bad thing and you wanna associate only happy things. The next thing you can do is use another dog. Um, I think Bria, I think this is the way Bria learned because we threw the toy for Junie. Um, Junie ran to go grab it, brought it back and Bria followed her because she's the big sister and she's cool and she's a role model. Um, but she followed and then she now has got it. So I think that's a great way to train because um, it basically just happens instinctively. You don't even really have to do very much. 
The next method is the two toy method. Basically, you throw a toy and then to bring them back, you squeak another toy. Sometimes they'll drop the toy and come straight to you, which is not what you want. But if they don't, that's great. Um, our dogs would drop the toys, so we don't use this method, but some dogs are super attached to their toys and will only give it up if it's right in front of them. So if they have a toy right in front of them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was all for it. I'm sorry that it was kind of short. Um, yes, I did film this yesterday, so I am wearing the same shirt, but, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye. Frida says bye bye. Mwah. And five, six, seven, eight.